hello guys welcome back again to this channel in today's video i want to have a discussion of what it's life like for international students schooling here in the united states this video is mainly dedicated to those of you that just got here as an international student and those of you that you're on your way coming and those that are still planning on coming down here to United States and you're still kind of thinking should I or should I not because of what I had because I'm scared of this I will be giving you guys my own honest opinion everybody has their own opinion you see and it, it also depends on where you are in life okay so my aim on this channel is to provide you with a valuable content that is going to help you confidently achieve your immigration journey and for you to be successful so if you enjoy any content that i provide here please kindly take a second and give this video a thumbs up it's going to help me grow on this channel like i said that's all i need from you give this video a thumbs up and give it a like subscribe and i will really appreciate that let's jump into the today's discussion and you know i want to share you guys my own honest opinion you see schooling here it's really not bad the only thing i think that it's much much difficult it's getting your visa to come down here in the united states as an international student once you go past that hurdle i think it's going to be better and i will tell you what i mean some other person have their own opinion that like I came here, I couldn't achieve my American dream. It's so hard, everything is expensive and all of that. And that is why I say this is my own opinion and also depending on where you are in life, okay? So if you're coming here as an international student, the first thing that goes into your mind is job. I'm gonna get a job. I'm gonna get a job. I'm gonna get a job to pay my tuition, to pay my bills and we have too many bills here. Okay, there are too many bills in the United States that we pay. So it depending on what type of bills you decide to pick up, though that's gonna be your own problem, you know. So, but we have too many of them from credit card, car insurance, transport, rent, food, and all of all that, utility phone. So too many of them. So depending on which one you pick up yourself. When you become an international student here, there are so many helps that you could get. I know this is probably mind blowing to those of you that don't even know that there are so many helps that you could get from your school that is going to help you subsidize your subsidize your bills and that way you know you kind of get a breathing space in, if you're working depending you're allowed to only work 20 hours a week depending on how much you get paid you see your school some schools here in the united states actually provide what we call a food pantry you know this food pantry it's helpful to a lot of students and for those of you that are coming here i'm letting you i'm trying to make you be aware of these things so that you don't get here and you know you're struggling trying to find something to eat for you to survive you know when you're hungry you can study right you can do a lot of stuff okay especially when they're you're not really getting paid what you think that you're going to be getting paid from your job there's something they call food pantry so you try to check with your school depending on which school you are which state you are you know if you check with your school sometimes they provide this food pantry depending on what they might do that once a week you know you want to locate where it is you go to they have some good food i might not gonna say they are healthy food but they have food you know it has to do with a lot of canned food sometimes they provide some meat some veggies and all of what you know you go there you grab as much as those things are actually going to run you maybe from week to week you know i know of some students that are here they go to those food pantry and they get some food and they last them food like weeks to weeks groceries is very expensive in the united states in case you don't know having that opportunity where you can go and take food for free you have no idea how much you're saving yourself per week per month you have no idea until you start actually going to the store to buy those things yourself and then you will realize man things are expensive you know so 
another another option again that the school provided bus pass some schools here in new york actually provide for student bus passes you know those bus passes can do you like so much favor like so much like taking an uber the gas is so expensive like if you're in the east coast i mean you i mean i'm in new york right now you know for you to buy a gallon of gas is about three dollars sixty cents you know it's very expensive it's like for you to take an uber for like two miles you're paying roughly less than 15 to 20 dollars so but when you get those bus passes you can actually it, it's going to help you to move around going to school or maybe going downtown doing something those bus passes are going to help you a lot of way and your school actually provide that for free for you guys so those pass bus passes they can last for anywhere for like a month bus passes i mean anywhere for a month and you can take advantage of this opportunity that is being provided to you by your school all you have to do is to ask to go ask around maybe your school you definitely because as an international student sometimes they're looking at you that you have everything but you i tell you what sometimes no go do formal ask questions ask questions you know they're going to direct it. oh it's here well, let them know that you need this you know don't act like you are good you are not especially when you know you need this stuff especially when you know you're struggling especially when you know you are saving up money maybe the little job you're doing for you to pay your tuition because i i understand most of us that actually come here we just saved up everything that we got with the with the hope that we're going to get here and hit that big jackpot where we're going to be working 100 dollars an hour 50 and then save up and they, no sometimes it's not like that you might actually get to that point maybe when you done with school that way maybe you have a company but let's try to focus on on this video let's not go over on the other side okay and talk about what happened after you graduate okay so you take those bus passes and it's going to save you a lot of money in transportation another thing that you guys don't even know do you know some of those schools they have a charity organization that help them to actually provide scholarship grants for international students but they are not going to tell you this but i tell you what only when you ask questions when you go to your dean of studies when you go to your academic buildings you ask those questions and when you go to ask those questions pretend like things are tough for you don't go over there they will tell you no trust me they're going to tell you no we don't no we don't don't take that no we don't for an answer try a different person in that office you know talk to multiple people talk to friends that they are already there before you some of your schools actually have a grant that you can qualify for it doesn't matter even if it's 500 take it if it's a thousand dollars take it if you are paying five thousand dollars per semester and you get a grant of one thousand dollars that's you you are now left to worry about four thousand dollars so these are most things that people like kind of neglect and you know they feel like oh no i can't ask i can't ask no i'm scared you just have to you know and again i want to know like how much you are getting in your school if you're watching this video and you're already in the united states please comment down on this video to let me know how much you actually get or let me know if your school like is like telling you like no and no means like no you're not getting nothing you know I, I would like to know let's have that conversation and if you felt like this video like you know like what i'm saying here like you feel like you're you're going to contradict this please comment let's have that discussion you know because i live here i went to school here i know people going to school here and i know what's going on so this video is like 100 percent fact that i'm trying to provide to you guys okay so that you can uh, you know balance things yourself depending on where you are in life if you feel like you can gather up everything then leave as an international then come here and start you know managing your life to get things moving on and all of all that you know and if you think you can do it you're welcome you're welcome to come here as an international student you don't have to have it all you can come here the way you are and build your life and build yourself okay another great thing i want to let you guys know 
do you know that some schools actually let you pay your tuition instrumentally? I know, mind blowing, right? You might be thinking, Frankie, what are you talking? Yes, a lot of school can actually let you pay your tuition instrumentally here in Can here in the U.S. and in Canada. You know, you can actually take advantage of that. If you don't have your full tuition in the whole semester, you can actually go to the academic office and have a conversation with them and say, hey, you know, things are hard where I'm coming from. You know, for some, there are so many things that you can, it's only when you've not if 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 you don't go over there to talk to them they wouldn't know what's going on hey there is difficulty back home there's crisis in the country where i'm coming from there is challenges transferring money where i'm wherever i'm coming from i'm right now i'm about to pay my tuition like maybe if you got five thousand dollars and i have a thousand dollars they will go take it they will take it for me and you can gradually pay those tuition without you know trying to stress yourself or stress wherever you're getting your money from maybe your family or anybody see so you can take advantage of that and pay your tuition instrumentally so there are a lot of benefits when you get here like i said the most difficult part is getting your visa down here but when you get here you should be able to ask questions and find a way to move along with every other person don't feel you don't feel overwhelmed don't just isolate yourself and that way you don't know what's going on okay so guys this like i said these are my own opinion and these are things like i have seen happen i was one time a student and i know it's possible okay so another thing that i'm going to ask i'm going to add here is there also have an external international grant you know like i did mention there are so many charity organizations that are providing grants for each schools it depends on which school you are attending. When you ask, there might be some time of the month where those grants comes into the school. And it's always first come, first serve. So you want to make sure you have your ears open, you have your ears on the ground. So when those funds come in, you'll be the first to apply and get it. You know, you don't want to be the back bench, all right? You want to be the guys in the front, huh? So you, you want to apply to get those things, you know? So, yeah. I just want to share this. I, I felt like there are too many things out there. Oh, don't come here. If you come here, it's going to be hard. You are thinking of, okay, how am I going to pay my next semester tuition? If I'm only making $10 an hour, it's going to be hard and all of that. Hey, guys, take a step back. Relax. You'll be all right. Just get your visa. And once you get your visa, you come down here, you will be all right. You will find a way to survive, you know. So another thing is the job aspect, you know. The job might be, yeah, okay, because you are only allowed to work here in the United States for 20 hours per week. It might be not as good as what you're expecting, but you know, if you are getting paid 15 to 20 dollars an hour and you're working 20 hours a week, you have to multiply that minus tax, you know. But I'm gonna be making a different video where I'll be talking about the like where to find a better job, which department you have to go for it to get a better job in the United States, and which department you have to apply to during your summer, because that's where you have the big chunk of the money coming, you know, during the holiday season, like especially like the summer season, you know, you wanna work as much as you can to, you know, save up a little money, okay, and, and just help yourself. So, Please, if you enjoyed this video, please kindly give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel. I would really appreciate you guys, but share this video with somebody that you know, letting that person know that they can actually come here once they get their visa and they are going to be fine. This is my own opinion, okay? I really appreciate you guys and I will see you on my next video. Peace.